If you watched my last video, you'll know that we were just about to be hit by a typhoon. So the typhoon is nearly finished now. Um, and there's been a whole lot of damage. Um, yeah, it's left a trail of destruction and I just hope as a community, we can rebuild. Quite devastating. Only messing. A lot of much ado about nothing really. Got quite windy last night. Here we go. It's kicking up a little bit now, but basically nothing. And that's often the way with typhoons. It's wind, so it changes course. If it hits, you know about it and it really kicks off. But this one, not so bad at all really. Um, it's still gonna stick around for a few hours, but of course, by the time it goes, it will be back to Monday morning, just in time to go back to work. Great. Wish they'd come on a Wednesday rather than the weekend, but yeah, so, you know, of course it's a good thing that it didn't really hit, but yeah, can't go out, so. Right, so yeah, even though the typhoon hasn't been as bad as we thought, we didn't lose electricity, there hasn't, sometimes these typhoons are really, really huge and they do cause a lot of damage and you lose your electricity and you're off for days and all the shops sell out of food and sometimes people get injured or worse and houses get destroyed but this one wasn't as bad as which of course is a good thing so anyway but still i can't go out i'm not supposed to go out really everyone just stays home all weekend it always happens on the weekend it's so annoying so what i thought i'd do is i'm actually going to do a video just it's not a review, just a brief video of the Nikon Z50. Now this is an entry level APS-C mirrorless camera. And the reason I'm gonna do a video about it is I've actually sold it. And I sold it about a month, two months ago. But I wanna do the video now because otherwise if I leave it any longer, I'll forget about it. So I'm not gonna show you the camera. I'm just basically gonna show you some pictures and talk about how it is for wildlife and nature photography. Um, it's, as I said, it's an entry level camera. So often people think you need to get the highest level, best type of cameras, uh, very expensive cameras to take good wildlife shots. You know, things, bird, things like birds in flight, but that isn't always the case, um, especially if you have good glass. And I'm lucky that I do have some good glass. So a lot of the shots I took were with the 300 millimeter 2.8 version one VR with a teleconverter 1.4 and a few shots also with the 500 millimeter 5.6 pf so really good glass and it just shows that even with a basic camera um, if you match it with good glass you can get really good results i'll put some shots at the end taken just with the kit lens because i bought it as a double kit and you get a 50 to 250 millimeter just kit lens and that can also as long as the lighting is good and you can get close to your subject that can also do quite get quite good results so I really loved that camera but basically recently I've started using Micro Four Thirds Olympus and OM1 a lot more so I got rid of it I originally bought it just to sort of take pictures of the kids because it's so small but actually just as you know just thought I would just try it out for wildlife alongside my other more professional expensive cameras and I was surprised by mainly the image quality. The image quality was really good. It's so small as well, which it's, it's you know, for a travel camera or for, you know, with the kids, it's perfect really. And the flip out screen was much easier to use coming from a, DC, a DSLR. So with the adapter and the um, F mount lenses, really good results can be get with the Nikon Z50. So if someone's a casual wildlife photographer, I do recommend it. So anyway, this video will be just, I'll put some music on, for show some pictures. I'm not gonna bother with settings and stuff. I just told you I've basically used mainly the 300 millimeter 2.8 plus the teleconverter. Just to show you what is possible with the Z50 camera. Its main selling point to me, despite its tiny size, which is really nice, is the kit lenses were really good, but I don't obviously use the, the main kit lens for, for wildlife photography, but uh, mainly the image quality. The image quality was really, really good, and it surprised me, actually, and that's why I started trying for it with wildlife photography. Okay, so 
have a look at the pictures and judge for yourself if it's something you might like. Thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.